Visceral leishmaniasis occurs in Africa, Asia, and Brazil. In Africa, there is a rapid diagnostic test for the disease. To confirm the diagnosis, a blood test or a spleen or bone marrow biopsy is required. These tests can only be carried out in well-equipped laboratories, which aren't available in rural areas. I found out my child was sick because he was vomiting and had a fever every night. We took him to the hospital in Adong. It was after he was sent to Malakal that we found out he had Kalaza. Since 2010, doctors have been prescribing a 17-day treatment using two drugs, meglamine antimoniate and paromamycin. By cutting the duration of treatment in half, the burden is reduced for patients, the staff, and the facilities. Severely ill patients, the elderly and pregnant women, receive a different treatment because meglamine antimoniate has poor results and increases the risk of death in these patients. It is very difficult to treat patients co-infected with HIV and visceral leishmaniasis. They are never fully cured of visceral leishmaniasis and will always be at risk of recurrence. In Asia, leishmaniasis is more easily diagnosed and treated. The World Health Organization recommends ambisome that is administered as one single infusion over two hours. The recovery rate is more than 98%. It's already being used in national programs in India and Bangladesh. Unfortunately, ambisome is not heat tolerant and is only administered intravenously. <laughs> 